In this session we're going to look at Capture Live Performance. So we're in Logic Pro, we select a software instrument, go to the library, select arpeggiator, we now open the arpeggiator and this live performance is currently turned off. You'll notice as soon as I start to play something, it'll turn on. So if I press a C and a G, this is now highlighted. When I stop playing, it's not highlighted. Now at the moment, I'm just playing the the C and the G, but the arpeggiator is playing lots of different notes. So if I want to capture that. Select this and drag it onto a channel. I can now turn the arpeggiator off completely. So if I now press a note, the arpeggiator is off. However, if I open up this here, you can see it's actually not just captured the C and G, it's captured the notes that the arpeggiator was playing. So if I loop this and play, it will play exactly as the arpeggiator was playing, even though the arpeggiator is no longer on. So this is very useful because I can now copy this onto other channels, or I can put it on a summing channel so that I can layer lots of synths using the same arpeggiation. I could even save the MIDI file and use in other doors. I might even want to use Logic Pro 10, Logic Pro X, just as a creative tool, but still have my projects in Logic Pro 9. So I can export it as a MIDI file and put it into Logic Pro 9. So if I did want to do that, I would just go to File, Export Selection, as MIDI file. Another way to capture live performance is to play the arpeggiator via a MIDI note. So if I go here and draw in two MIDI notes, turn on my arpeggiator, have it going over two octaves or three octaves just to make it interesting. Notice when I press play that this lights up, so I'm able to drag that to there. So now you'll see in this region I have two single notes that when they're played, because the arpeggiator's on, get arpeggiated, but actually the notes are actually being played, have actually been output as MIDI to this track here. And so if I loop that one. And I turn the arpeggiator off. It will play. Whereas if I play that one now, because the arpeggiator is off, it will just play these two notes. And that's another way of capturing live performance.